Cause there's no way. That's not gonna work. Really the path of non-control is wanting to be free more. It's wanting freedom more than positioning things in your life. Or positioning situations in a way that feels most comfortable for you. So maybe when a situation is going like this, it feels most comfortable for you. And you're like, this feels good. But the moment that it's not going that way, and you can't control things, remember when you said that when your intention is going out, and the girl's not giving you anything back, you feel like this is the moment where you shut down. It's because it's not a comfortable moment. When a girl's giving you something back, you know you can now, quote unquote, control the moment. So the only way through this is to understand that you're going to be dealing with different types of women. You're going to be dealing with women who will give you something back, women as you can see, women who are just silent. You're going to be dealing with all different types, but the main thing is, with all of this, is to not want them to be anything. And this means that if you expect something, you also want to control as well. You want to control how the person is going to react to you. So you expect them to respond a certain way. You walk up to her and you expect her to give you something back when you say something. And she doesn't give you anything back. So now that your expectation is cut, you feel like you're lost in the moment. And you are. Because you were holding so much on to the expectation of she giving you something back. Because when she gives you something back, it reinforces the control that you have. So when you walk up to a woman, now in this session, because we still, we're still still going to emphasize silence. We are. Total emptiness when you walk up. Let your intention just stay there, but let the girl react in the way she's going to. If she gives you something back, don't allow yourself. I can't, I can't say don't allow yourself, but be aware of yourself wanting to become more energetic and feel alive. And when she's not giving you something, be aware of yourself, feeling like deflated. If you feel deflated, or if you feel elated, these are two signs that control is present. Wanting to control the outcome. Wanting to control her response to you. Expecting her to do something. You've heard of equanimity? Neutrality, neutral. So, right now, if I go like this, you know, man, you know, it's been great, you know, being here with you. Fuck, you're, you're so fucking great, you know that? I love being here with you, man. The way you're just so present to me, I love this. From that place, if you feel yourself doing like this with me, that means that you're becoming later. If I'm like, Every time you're present, I feel like you are. I don't know, it's kind of just draining. It just if you feel yourself becoming depleted in that moment, it's because you expect it. Just respond to what the girl gives you. That's it. If you're being just responsive, you don't have a chance to control. Because you're responding. 
this is why we talk so much about silence because in the silence, you can accurately see what's coming from the room. And you can accurately be able to take the action you need to. But if you're already expecting, which is if you're already trying to control, you can't respond accurately. Yes, when I go to a woman and I give her compliments. What do you expect? That she is enjoying it and start a conversation. And when she's not enjoying it, what? That's uh, not the problem when I see the differences, like when there's a good thing or a bad thing, that's easy to handle. Because I can control it, because negativity, like she's mean or something like that, it's easy. Because I know I move on and for sure a woman will come and will be nice. Because I know that. When she's not giving you something back though, do you feel like you expect it to go bad from that point? No, it's more that I can feel nothing. The, I, there is no emotion, no nothing, nothing to... So I um, start to feel so much tension. So then it starts to block because it's so huge, so I try to control this feeling. And it's easier for me to block this. But when the girl's not giving you anything back, because this is when I've seen you become depleted the most. Yes. When the girl's not giving you anything back, you become depleted. What are you feeling from her that you don't like expressing? It's uh, it's fear, actually. It's it scares me because I have no clue what to do, and I can't control the situation, and that makes me shaky. Do you feel like she's fearful though? In that moment, where she's not giving something back? It feels like... Um, yeah, it feels like she's not interested. There's nothing more I can do. But it's the control part in me. I can't control the situation, so it's better to go. The reason why I say it, what is she expressing mm -hmm. that you don't like to express? Because that not being responsive to you, mm -hmm. not giving you her attention, would you do that to someone? Mm -hmm. That's why. You're afraid, you don't like that because you wouldn't do it. If somebody walked up to you and they was like, hey man, uh, I just wanted to ask you, do you have any money? You know, I'm just, right now I just need to go do something. And you obviously can see he wasn't poor though. Like he was like, hey man, can, uh, I just wanted to ask you, can, uh, do you have any money? Right now I'm feeling really, really down and uh, I lost my job and I just need a few, a few bucks to go eat something. You would, you would probably respond to him. But if he was like, hey man, do you have a few few dollars and right now I'm feeling a bit down, I've just lost my job, I'm just hungry, I wanna go get something to eat. If you didn't respond, you would feel like you're not being yourself. That's it. You're afraid of the part of yourself that people may go, you're not a good person. Because responding seems like a good person thing to do. 
not responding just doesn't seem like a, a good person thing to do. So what you're really doing is that you're controlling your image of a good person or not. And when you when someone else is not giving you something back in return, the good image part of you is in right now is in shakiness. You know? It's forced in a moment to undo. You're forced in that moment to actually meet the moment, present. But to meet that to meet that moment as a like a good person, it's like, all right, well I, got, I guess I'll just go to someone else that reinforces that I'm a good person. That doesn't reinforce it, so you'll go to someone else that reinforces. That's why I said, what are you afraid of that she? that she ex is expressing and you don't like expressing. reactions to that. I'm going up and I'm saying hello to women and they're just doing things and I'm like, do you know that I actually care? I actually really want to get to know you. I'm not like some dude just coming up to me. I used to feel these things in me like frustration and, and sometimes anger too. And it's simply because I was coming from the position of I'm a good person. Why is the world treating me like this? Why are women treating me like this? I'm going out and I'm giving goodness for myself. Why am I not getting that back? And to let you know, just because you give out that doesn't mean that you're going to receive it. And I think this is something you know now, or you've seen. That just because you walk up to a girl like, excuse me, and you're being totally naturally there, and she's like, thank you. Or, I don't want to talk, or anything like that. You've seen that the world doesn't, it doesn't mean that the world is going to respond to you with love and kindness. It doesn't mean that. So, that's why I say, let go of what it means to be a good person. And what do I mean by let go?